Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on filter design. The objective of this video is we are going to do a very quick comparison between these four common methods of filter design. Firstly, okay, let's compare Purcell versus Butterworth versus Chappichu and also Eclipse filter design. I'm also going to share the advantages and also the disadvantages when you actually implement one of the four methods on filter design. This will be the part seven series discussion on filter design. The earlier on series discussion, I have put the video link under the description. I also have this playlist, okay, which is under filter design. Take a look on this playlist in order to understand more regards on filter design. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this video by pressing the like and also please support the channel by subscribe to it. Once again, sincere thanks. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Many types of filter, in fact, they bear the names of the men who actually developed them. The common ones are Butterworth, Chappichu, Eclipse, and Purcell. But definitely, there are many, many more. But in fact, these are the four common ones. Each filter design type has its own strength and also definitely their own weakness depending on the application. Okay, so over here, you can see that these are the four gentlemen who developed the four common one filter design. Firstly, Purcell. Butterworth, Chappichu, and also Eclipse. Okay, so these are the four gentlemen who actually developed this filter design using this four common one. Let's take a look on Purcell for a start. Okay, the Purcell filter has the most gentle response from the group, okay, which means that they don't have a very steep skirt over here. In fact, Purcell function has the most gentle, okay, which means that they have the worst roll off factor. Okay, it does not have a sharp cut off, but it offers superior phase shift and also therefore they have the shortest delay. The Purcell filter requires the most stage, hence it also requires the most component and probably one of the most expensive way when you actually use this method to design your filter. However, it offers excellent characteristics like low sensitivity to component tolerance. Okay, so they are not sensitive to the value of L and C. And hence, also, they have a super step response, especially when the input is a square wave. Let's quickly go through the advantages and disadvantages when we actually use Purcell as the filter design. As mentioned, they have the best step response. Okay, therefore they have very little overshoot or ringing. Okay, so from here you can see that in fact it almost like a flat line. Okay, you can see over here there are no overshooting and also ringing effect on both the pass fan and also the stop fan. They have the small roll off, okay, which means that they don't have a very steep skirt here. So in fact, they have the most gentle roll off as compared to the rest that we are going to discuss. Okay, there's no ripper. Can okay, you realize that on a pass pen, there's no ripper and also on a stop pen, there are no ripper. They have the shortest time delay, okay, which means that any signal that pass through this per cell, okay, the delay okay, probably is the shortest among these four that we actually discuss. Coming to the disadvantage, as I mentioned earlier on, Okay, they, the skirt of the filter design probably is not that so-called steep. Okay, in fact, it's a very gentle skirt. Okay, so probably this is one of the killer why Purcell is not that well used. Okay, because of the gentle skirt. Okay, I cannot have a steep response over here. The Purcell 
filter is ideal for application that require minimum phase shift, okay, which means that I actually want to have as little delay as possible, then I will use this per cell method. Okay, due to the gentle frequency response of the per cell filter, it can only be used in application where there is adequate space between the pass band and stop band. Okay, which means that okay, the gap between the pass band and also the stop band, okay, I need to have a huge space so that they can transit from the pass band to the stop band. Okay, so this is also one of the killer when you actually implement per cell function. Like I mentioned earlier on, they have the most gentle slope as compared to the rest from this group here. Next, let's move on to Butterworth. Okay, Butterworth is a medium Q filter, okay, which means that they have a steeper roll off as compared to per cell function. The initial antenation thickness are not as good, okay, which means over here is actually very gentle. After that, they actually roll off much faster. Okay, but the initial roll off, okay, they are actually not as good as possible. The Butterworth filter is commonly referred to as the maximum flat option, okay, because the pass span response offers the steepest roll off without inducing a pass band ripper. Okay, which means that this is the best possible roll off without adding any ripper on the pass band. Okay, so this is what it means. Okay, design which require the amplitude response to be as flat as possible. So I actually want it to be flat. Okay, so therefore this method actually design this pass band without any ripper as flat as possible. Okay, they have a better phase response in reality than Chapel Shield, okay, but they are worse off as compared to Purcell. Okay, the rate of change of phase shift occur close to the cutoff frequency. Okay, which means that this cutoff frequency, okay, they actually have a change of phase shift. Okay, this always result in signal distortion. Okay, at this cutoff area here, they actually have signal distortion. Okay, especially if the input signal has spectrum component near to the cutoff frequency. So if I, I the input signal, okay, that is actually in this region, Okay, then there is a very high chance that I actually will have a signal distortion. Hence, the possible solution is to design a bandwidth that is 20% wider than needed. Okay, however, this may not be always feasible. Okay, which means that I can actually design okay, 20% more okay, in order to avoid this signal distortion near the cutoff frequency. Okay. This method, Butterworth, is not recommend for band reject filter as such filter usually require much deeper slope than Butterworth filter can provide. The filter order is equal to the number of frequency sensitivity component, okay, which means that the more numbers of components that I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to have a steeper row of factor. Let's come to the advantages and disadvantages of Butterworth. It has a reasonable roll off rate for high order filter. As I told you earlier on, the more N, okay, which means that I actually incur more component and hence they actually will have a better roll off. They have small, smooth and reasonable flat response in the pass band and also stop band. Okay, which means that they, there is actually no ripper at the pass band and also on the stop band. Okay, they are easy to construct and tune. Okay, LC filter need only to be low Q. Okay, so I just need to Q to be around 15. Okay, it has a reasonable smooth phase shift and also constant time delay away from cutoff frequency. Okay, so along this cutoff, okay, I probably cannot have any input component that fall under this cutoff region here. The disadvantage Short cutoff filter need higher order and therefore lots of component. As I told you, the more deeper shut off that I need, okay, so therefore I may need more and more component just to implement a sharper cutoff. The amplitude response is not actually flat in the past span, okay, particularly near cutoff. So if you zoom in over here, you will realize that at near the cutoff, there is actually some little 
triple. Okay, but it's still considered relative flat. Not possible to modify shape of amplitude response once the filter order is chosen. Okay, so this method is quite rigid. Okay, because once you choose the number of order, okay, I can't control. Okay, for example, I can't control how steep anymore. Okay, or etc. So basically, this is the backbone of Butterworth. So once I determine the numbers of order, okay, I can't further improve, let's say, in terms of the stiffness, etc. So I can't do this. Next, let's move on to Chebyshire. Okay, the Chebyshire filter is known for its ripple response. Okay, you can see over here, you can see that there are a lot of ripple in Chebyshire in the past band. This ripple response can be designed to be present in the past band, okay, which use the Chebyshire type 1. Or in the stop band, which use the Chebyshire type 2. The amplitude of the ripple is direct proportional to the steepness of row off. That is, if you want a steeper response, you will see a larger ripple response. Okay, if I want a cut off, steep cut off, okay, then I need to tolerate the ripple in the pass band and also the stop band. Designer can control the shape of the filter amplitude response. Okay, unlike the Butterworth design, which is completely defined by the filter order. Okay, for this case, using this trapezoid, okay, I can actually control how steep I want okay, by tolerate more ripple. Okay, so this is what it means over here. Even other trapezoid filter do not have zero dB loss at zero frequency. Okay, therefore, can't design for equal RS and RL. Therefore, even order are not commonly used. Okay, so in fact, okay, for trapezoid, okay, we can't have an even number. Okay, which means that when we actually have this, we can't actually design for the equal RS and RL. So you can actually increase one more order. Okay, for example, if let's say the order is six, okay, you can actually increase to seven. Okay, because for trapezoid, they don't have zero dB loss at zero frequency. The phase response of Chebyshire filter is relative nonlinear, okay, which ultimately create havoc on the modulator because it tend to distort pulse because of the nonlinear delay. The phase shift and group delay are not as smooth compared to Butterworth filter. This is definitely a trade-off. If I want to have a steep cutoff factor, okay, I definitely need to tolerate some ripple in the past band or stop band. Group delay is larger okay, because of higher Q than a Butterworth of the same order, particular near cutoff. For this reason, the cutoff frequency is chosen higher for low pass filter. Okay, for example, for this case, for this low pass filter, the cutoff frequency is chosen to be higher and also lower for high pass filter design. Let's come to the advantages and disadvantages when we actually use Chappie Shield for filter design. Amplitude response can have flatter, okay, but not smoother ripple response in the pass and stop band. Okay, I can actually control flatter ripple, but I cannot totally eliminate away this ripple at the pass band and also the stop band. Steeper roll off as compared to Butterworth. Roll off can be tricked for pass band or stop band ripple, okay, which I have explained. Okay, so if you want to be steeper, okay, you must tolerate more ripple. If you are able to tolerate more ripple on the pass band or stop band, then this method, Chebyshire, in fact, will be a better choice. Easier to tune and less expensive to build due to lower order required. Okay, because this Chebyshire, they have a steeper cutoff and hence I probably do not need so much order. When I don't need so much order, okay, I actually reduce the cost of the component. Disadvantage, okay, the past band amplitude response, they are not smooth. Okay, as I mentioned, they are rippers. They have greater phase shift and group delay as compared to Chebyshire and also Purcell function. They have a greater sensitivity to component value used as compared to Butterworth. Last but not least, let's quickly discuss on filter design using Eclipse. Okay, so this Eclipse is basically totally different from Chebyshire. 
in fact, you are going to tolerate Ripple at the past band and also on the stock band. For Chappie Shield, okay, I can only have either the past band to have Ripple or I can actually have Ripple on the stock band. But when you actually implement this Eclipse, okay, you are going to tolerate Ripple on the past band and also on the stock band. Okay, the key difference over here, let me describe here. The cut off frequency FC is the frequency where the response is down by the ripple amplitude, not 3 dB. Early on, they are actually down by 3 dB, for example. Okay, but for this case here, the ripple okay, can actually control. The stop band is defined as starting where the antenation first reaches the same value as the top of the antenation minimum. Okay, so this is what I mean. So you actually can control this minimum. Okay, stick roll off. Okay, so you actually determine over here how much the roll off factor you want, and therefore you actually need to tolerate more ripple. So this is the method by using this eclipse. The eclipse filter is categorized by ripple that exists in both the pass band and stop band. The pass band ripple, okay, they actually can be controlled of the eclipse filter. Is similar to the Chebyshev filter. So for Chebyshev, okay, I can control the ripple either at the pass band or stop band. For Eclipse, again, I also can tolerate or control the ripple at both the pass band and stop band. And because of this, they actually most of the time have a steeper roll off factor as compared to the rest of the group that we are discussing over here. The steepest roll off as compared to all the four. Okay, in fact, they also steeper as compared to Purcell function. Eclipse filter are particularly sensitive to capacitor value. Okay, so they are very sensitive to capacitor value, and hence the capacitor used either in series or parallel. We must choose it as close as possible to the design value. Okay, because of this, it also quite a big challenge for implement filter design using this Eclipse because they are actually very sensitive to capacitor and you know that we, we don't have a huge range of capacitor value. Hence, because of this, okay, it can be a big challenge when you actually design filter design using this Eclipse method. Let's come to the advantages and disadvantages when we actually design filter design using this Eclipse method. Okay, they have the fastest draw off speed of all the filter among the four. Ideal for application that want to effectively animate the frequency in the immediate neighborhood of passband. Okay, so this has the most best row of speed as compared to the rest of them. And because of this, if let's say I want to do a very quick band reject that has a neighboring transmission, then I will implement by using this Eclipse method. They are ripper in both pass and stop band. They require more component than other filters. They have the largest time delay and also the non-linear phase that led to phase distortion. For the circuit, okay, it also have a most complex when we actually implement the filter design by using Eclipse. Let's take a look on this four method when we actually do a quick comparison between Purcell, Butterworth, Chappichel, and also Eclipse. Okay, out of this four methods, Purcell has the most gentle row of factor, followed by Butterworth. Okay, but you can see that Butterworth have a so-called flat pass band and also stop band. Next will be on Chappichel. Okay, you can see that Chappichel can have a ripper at the pass band or a ripper at the stop band. As for Eclipse, they have the steepest row of factor. Okay, but over here you can see that they have ripper on the pass band and also on the stop band. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. See you guys.